But there's another kind of food truck that's been filling a huge gap since the early 1970s. A breed of sturdy trucks that serves the blue-collar workforce. The ubiquitous Roach Coach. The name comes from an old myth that the trucks weren't sanitary. You got that old saying, oh, you don't eat off the food trucks, you might be eating a dog or something like that. But that's just an old wives' tale. In truth, they're regulated by local health departments. Today, they're known for serving hot food at good prices. They get a sunny side burrito. On construction sites and in factory parking lots. Alfredo Reyes drives a roach coach in Los Angeles, one of thousands that crisscross this city every day. 4 a.m. Alfredo's daily routine begins at a huge parking lot in downtown Los Angeles. It's one of 20 in L.A. alone, home base to 120 trucks that run around the clock. Alfredo and the other drivers get the trucks ready to head out, loading 40 gallons of water and 30 gallons of propane on each truck. Ice comes from a 30-ton ice maker. Alfredo and his cook, Graciela, stock up on food at the lot's grocery store. She's going to make some special, like tacos, uh, burritos, quesadillas. They need to buy enough to last the whole day. If they run out, they'll lose customers. You lose profit, and that never can happen. Eight dozen eggs, 22 pounds of meat, fresh produce, and a couple hundred tortillas. We do try to serve today maybe 220 to 30, so we're gonna buy for 20 extra people, just in case we have some extra guys. We don't wanna run out. One house brown, one coon. After years of working this beat, the duo has a routine in place. We already know what the customers want, because they're usually a regular customer. So before we get to the staff, she already have their items ready. Five thirty a.m. Alfredo and Graciela hit the road. On their route, nine stops. They have to do it twice in just seven hours. One stop every 15 minutes. 6 a.m., Alfredo arrives at the first stop on schedule. Good thing, his customers are waiting. You got the small ones? I only have the large ones here. We definitely look forward to the food truck. I get a chicken burrito every day. I love the chicken burrito. Gotta watch my waist. <laughs> that's, uh, that's our only break for the day, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. We get 30 minutes break, so we gotta hurry up and eat and pretty much get back to work. Huh? Tuna sandwich? No, mi amor, yo no hay tuna. No more tuna? No. The restaurant, you gotta wait 10, 15, 20 minutes so for them to serve you. In the truck, you only, for max, you gotta wait two to three minutes. It looks really good. It tastes good as well. When they come and tell you, you know what, this is a good food, that will make you feel good. Because that means you're doing a good job. The Roach Coach provides a service many foremen have come to depend on. I've known him for a few years, and he comes with me on every job I come on because he's a good truck. It's a toss-up when you get one of these wagons. We call them roach coaches out in the field because, you know, it's meat um, when you order, and sometimes it's mystery meat. So when you find a good lunch truck like he is, you keep that lunch truck, and you keep them rolling every job. When we get a job, he's my guy. So he's a good one. It's always nice to see old friends. All right, thanks. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, brother. But there's no time to loiter. Let's go, we gotta run. <laughs> One stop every 15 minutes. Then the duo starts all over again, repeating the route for lunch. With every move, Alfredo and Graciela have to shut everything down and secure it all before setting it up all over again at the next job site. 18 stops. 100 carne asadas and burritos. And 500 city blocks later. 
At 1 p.m., Alfredo and Graciela close down shop at their last stop of the day. We're just going to go ahead, go back to the company, respect the truck, with, uh, clean the truck, do the dishwashing, and reload the photos. Let's go! Get ready for tomorrow. Another day, another dollar. Thank you. Thank you, sir.